Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Harris. I'm a member of the Board of Directors for the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site at Johnson Farm and the Site Scientific Advisor. Our companion exhibit for the Crossroads Change in Rural America Traveling Exhibition, created by the Smithsonian Institution and brought to you by the Utah Humanities, will focus on the change of rural St. George and the history of our site and museum. For context, the Dinosaur Discovery Site is an active paleontological site with fossils that preserve a 200 million year old lake ecosystem in unprecedented detail. At the site, we discuss the kinds of plants and animals that were alive at the very beginning of the Jurassic period and who made the amazing fossil footprints we have on display. Our mission is to research, preserve, interpret, and exhibit the story of the specific site as well as the fossil resources of the area for the benefit, education, and enjoyment of our valued communities and the scientific world. We strive to be an anchor for the earth sciences in our community through our programming, outreach, and activities, as well as by partnering with local organizations to preserve fossils outside our walls. Working cooperatively with the scientists from around the world, we continue researching and preserving fossils found in our own backyards. For our Crossroads exhibit, we are creating a timeline that begins with the first peoples living in the area, continues to the arrival of the Mormon pioneers, and ends with the discovery of the Dinosaur Discovery Site's fossils by Dr. Sheldon Johnson, the founding of the museum, and the work we've done since it opened. The first humans to inhabit this part of Utah lived here 13,000 years ago during the Paleo-Indian period. Later peoples who settled in this area were the Shibwitz Band of the Paiute. Archaeological remains have been found around Washington County that help us understand this part of the timeline. We'll then explore the timing of the Mormon pioneers who settled the area. They first arrived in Utah in 1847, explored the area close to the city of Santa Clara in 1849, and established a fort there by 1855. By 1861, Mormon church leader Brigham Young sent 309 families to settle the St. George area. Fast forward nearly a century to when Dr. Sheldon Johnson purchased the land that would eventually become the Dinosaur Discovery Site. In 1960, Sheldon was looking for a project he and his five sons could work with and learn from. He purchased 122 acres along the Virgin River from Ellis Wilson for $25,000. Although Sheldon was an optometrist by trade, he and his sons developed the land into a 65-acre alfalfa field. Then, in early 2000, Sheldon was clearing the land for future development and made the discovery of a lifetime. Once Sheldon announced the discovery of dinosaur tracks on his farm, the world took notice. Thousands flocked to the site, including our current curator and site paleontologist, Andrew Milner. In the ensuing years, amazing discoveries were made, including a rare crouching dinosaur trace and the world's largest collection of dinosaur swim tracks. The Johnsons raised funds for a building to protect and preserve the site. In June 2005, the museum opened its doors. Since then, we've created, updated, and expanded the exhibitions, displays, and programming that allows us to teach both residents and visitors about the area's spectacular fossil heritage. We welcome you to visit the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site at Johnson Farm.